Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Node.js full tutorial series for beginners. This is a part two of the series where today we'll learn about installation of Node.js. In the first part, we learned about the basics of Node.js, what Node.js is, why you should learn, what are the different aspects of it, and how it can help. Today, we'll learn and we'll make progress in terms of setting up our environment to get our application up and running. Welcome back, friends. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer, and I bring knowledge on modern web technology stack. Uh, and I will also share my knowledge on DevOps tools, process, and platforms. So I'm here to share my knowledge and also to learn from you. This is part of the Node.js full tutorial playlist. And in the playlist, I have planned around 25 hands-on tutorials where we will be doing some live examples. Uh, I'm sure it will be fun. I'm sure it will be helpful in terms of learning Node.js for you. Make sure you keep an eye on this particular playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. All right, so like I said, there are 25 tutorials I have planned for you, starting from basic introduction to installation to uh, global objects to function expressions and to file systems, APIs, etc., etc. So stay tuned. This is going to be a very, very interesting um, uh, tutorial series. I'm sure we both will have fun learning and teaching. All right, so let's talk about installation of Node.js in today's episode. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. There is nothing much uh, complicated or I would say the approach is pretty straightforward. All we have to do is to go to the official page and download the distribution on your machine, right? Now, for the friends who are on uh, Linux or Ubuntu or MacBook, uh, the, the, the thing is simple, something apt get, right? Uh, NP node. So that's the command you will run. But here I'm trying to show it on Windows. So I'm sure you can download the MSI uh, file on Ma MacBook as well. So for the Linux, you'll have to use app get install Node.js, right? So that's the command you will run. But for our Windows friends, uh, they can go to the official website, which is node.js.org. All right, so this is the official website and you would see two options. Uh, one is the recommended for most users and the second one is the current version so which one to download now this is a kind of a tricky thing so i would always encourage and suggest that if you are working on an existing application that you're trying to build and work with go for a one version level down right which is 12.18 and if you're starting a new project or on a new setup go for the latest one right so the reason being that Sometimes the latest features tend to break uh, some of the existing functionality or code base because of backward compatibility issues and etc. So it's better that if you have a large application which is already in place and you're trying to get it up and running in your machine, it makes sense to go with a one level down, which is 12.18 in that case. Or else you can go with 14.8. Now that you choose anything, it, there won't be hyper difference, right? It would be minor, but then be careful that's all i'm trying to warn you now that being said um, just go ahead click on any of the version that you want to install on your uh, local machine it would download the exe file and then you can like i'm sure if you're on windows machine you just have to do next 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 it's absolutely important that you do this before you do any npm right a lot of times i've heard in comments that some people were trying to run npm commands without installing node right uh, so that won't work, right? So you have to first download node, then work with NPM. So go ahead, click on any of it. So if you click on it, it will download you the exe file or MSI file. And you can do next, 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 and it would uh, install the software. So once you have done that, right? Uh, once you have completed the entire setup, how do you make sure that it has got completely installed correctly on your machine? Right, so that's important step. So what we'll do? I have opened a new project. Uh, it's an empty directory. There's nothing there. I have an empty file, empty directory. Nothing happens. Uh, so this folder I've just created to show you uh, that how to verify it. So what you'll do is you'll type node hyphen p. Right. So once you do that, you can see the node version, which is 12.2. Right. So you can install the latest one. You'll should see that that particular version. 
and then once you have done it you should see npm hyphen v so this will show you the node package manager right so this is nothing but um, how do you how do you check both are there in line so check watch out for npm watch out for node version now sometimes what happens when you run npm hyphen v or node hyphen v it says command not found or you know command not found usually which means the installation was not correct right so what you need to do now check for few things if uh, so debug issues right so if you run into issues these are the things that you should look for check if you if the downloaded file uh, downloaded file is correct and stable version right so that's number one the second thing uh, agree to terms that's another common mistake uh, check for the path where it is installed right usually when you do next 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 it will give you path choose where to install right where to install the node.js and then finally what happens it will internally set a path for node right so this is an absolutely last step that you should do right uh, this is absolutely last step you should uh, do to debug but check for path variable right path for node uh, environment variable right so if you see all of this uh, or actually even before you do that there is one more step you have to do right check you have admin privileges right so this is should be i think uh, the first one right so so first check that you have admin privileges to install uh, the softwares uh, to update and install software on machines uh, this is yet another important uh, common mistakes um, that i've seen is the people don't have um, admin rights on the machine so they usually you have to do sudo uh, right so sudo apt get if you're on linux box if you're on windows make sure that you are admin and can install softwares right so if you do these checks um, probably you will find out that uh, either it's one of these uh, reasons it's not happening it's if you still face an issue drop me a line uh, drop me a comment and I will connect with you and get it installed on your machine okay so right so even after all these things if you're unable to uh, get it done just drop me a note I will connect with you personally and I will get it installed on your machine all right so check for node npm if you have got it that means you're good to go we are good to start coding our first application all right so that's all I have uh, in the next uh, episode uh, I will cover about Chrome be it engine first because not that you will use it on an everyday basis in your project it's for understanding of how things work and why things work so beautiful and so fast all right so i'll keep the i'll try and keep the tutorial simple quick and fast so that you learn fast you learn uh, we try and close things easily right as usual i welcome your feedback comments uh, on if there is anything i have to improve if there is anything that you want me to cover thank you so much see you in the next part